up some lunch and figure out what we want to do. We're in Phoenix and uh, we're over in Scottsdale right now because we stayed in uh, Walmart parking lot out there because it's really nice out here. So it's nice and safe. Lexi's gonna make some lunch. She's gonna make some salmon Caesar. And uh, we're just gonna spend probably a week or so in Phoenix. Weather's great. It was like a low of like 55 last night, sweating in the van for the first time since our trip. And uh, Peppa, I've got your hair in my mouth all the time. But anyways, I'll have a chill day today. Maybe go to the P-A-R-K. I gotta spell it so Keppa doesn't hear it. Look how good this looks. Mm-hmm. Eat up, babe. Do you need any help? No, it's okay. You sure? Yes. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally of my... Sure. The mess in here. And there's a buddy. Yeah, little buddy. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go to the P-A-R-K? Mark is running God. because it is an ice cream truck. I'll be right back, bud. Hold down the fort. <laughs> He's running. Ooh. Wow, all the favorites. What, what I want this one. You do? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get one Sunday Crunch bar and then a uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. Are you four? Thank you so much. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Just like I remember. So what do you want to do now? Mm. Probably just chilling here for a little while. He looks so funny. I know. I does not look like Sonic at all. Well, because I just ate off his hedgehog. Yeah. So, we're coming up on our first month of the van. And yesterday we kind of hit a bit of a breaking point. Um, we just were both not really in a very good headspace and uh, just were arguing and, and just felt lost. We you just... Okay, you go ahead. There's just a lot of factors involved. So like the fact that it's winter time is a big one for us. We, we've been like just booking our way to the West Coast. So we've been going through so many places and like every time we leave a new place, I feel like they're like, why are we leaving so soon? There's so much more for us to have seen. And I just, and then we get somewhere new and then we're like overwhelmed because it's like a new place and we don't know where anything is. And just like right when we become accustomed to one place, we leave and it's just been a lot of driving and just a lot of like not knowing what's next. Yeah. As safe and as careful as we're trying to be, we both are just, you know, upset that we're, we can't really do much. And it may sound selfish to say, it's just, we've been looking forward to this trip for a long time, uh, pre COVID. It just seems like we left at the worst possible time. We left when it was 20 degrees all over the place and at the peak of a pandemic. So, could be our fault 
whatever. We were both just ready to get out. I know Lexi was dying at her house. I, mean, I was living at home after I graduated college for like nine months. And I love my family. I love being there, but not for nine months. With I wasn't working, so the van was like my whole life trying to convert it. And not like I just want to leave so bad. And, and now that we're here, I, I mean, I miss home. And I wish that I had spent a little bit more time with my family rather than focused on the van. At the end of the day, like we're still having a great time. Like we're still, it's still worth it. It's just not exactly what we had pictured. <laughs> And I just, we haven't met anyone, so it's kind of a little bit lonely. And I just, I really want to meet friends on the road. Yeah. It's just, that, that was the main thing I was looking forward to, was the community of people that this brings. And we haven't, we haven't experienced that yet. Mm. We just thought these videos would definitely, like, bring out a community of people that we could maybe, like, that's, like, the main reason we're kind of doing this is, one, for our family and friends to keep up with what we're doing, and two, to, like, meet people through social media and the internet. We know that's a very powerful tool. We're going to get some some van life couple friends yeah and, could have some couples and it is a pandemic and we know that it is a little scary to meet new people and be in close contact with people which is another reason why we haven't been like pushing it too much because we don't know if other people are uncomfortable it's very up in the air you don't i mean we always wear our masks and everything but at the end of the day it's like you don't know if they're high risk we want to be reaching people with these videos that can meet up with us and travel with us and mm. uh experience this with us we're a little bit lonely yeah. we have each other but and we have kepis of course but at the end of the day no one really talks about even when you are in a couple living in a van it gets a little lonely like you still need you still need the human connection with other people and yeah i mean we're only a month in and there's people that do this for years but You've kind of got the travel bug, but I've never really traveled before, and I've never camped, and I've never mm -hmm. built, and I've never any any category that falls under van living. Ooh. I have never done ever. Okay, I am a a simpleton video game playing <laughs> sports watching dude. So we're not. We don't wander and travel and we've never done anything like well, this together sh well not together yeah but i yeah. mean she's been to africa nepal she's been to peru she's been to hawaii i just recently found out <laughs> i grew up traveling a lot my dad is a travel agent so we were able to travel a lot for free we got like free trips cruises specifically so i went on a ton of cruises as a kid and i was really fortunate to go to some really awesome places and that sparked my love for travel immediately so I've, and I, I studied abroad twice. Like he said, I went to Africa and Nepal. Um, so those two places were amazing. I fell in love with Africa specifically, but yeah, I have traveled a lot. He has traveled a little, so we're like in different sp spots in that way. Which also puts stress on the relationship sometimes because uh, as much as she wants to go out and do like the big things, uh, you know, go to the ends of South America sort of stuff. I'm sort of still trying to get accustomed to the way we're living right now. And um, just being in new places and new spaces is just- Are we going to Mexico? We are going to Mexico, but just saying, you know, I've been trying to take my time with getting yeah. used to everything. I think that's okay. I, I think that that's completely fine. You don't have to be ready to go everywhere and do everything you know it takes time to get accustomed to it and this has been a hard this isn't this isn't easy traveling this is this is your whole home that you're taking with you i mean it's not like a vacation where you just relax the whole time yeah it's definitely not i mean every every day we wake up we have to spend the first part of the day cleaning every figuring out where we have to go to the day. bathroom yeah figure out where we gotta go to the dishes. bathroom i mean it's just it's it's, and it, it would be impossible to plan an entire trip like this because you would have to go by the hour. Literally. <laughs> like it's, it's a lot of improvising and a lot of. It's not glamorous. I don't understand that how every single video on YouTube of vans, they're always spotless. There's not even a cup on the table. It, <laughs> it blows my mind. For us, we've talked about it and we want to be as real as we can possibly be. <laughs> as real as we can possibly be with people watching these videos we want people to see how awesome it is but also how not awesome it can be so that's like our main goal is just to be really open and honest about 
everything that comes with it and hopefully it can you know give people better idea because i think lexi in the very beginning was like wow this is fooled. like a year and a half ago whatever i think she was like wow this is like the best life ever mm. you know and like some people like to think that we just wanted to share this with you guys and we feel like we don't open up enough about our feelings and like what we we just have a lot of b-roll videos you know yeah we want to talk more to the camera and whoever's watching these videos we want, if you guys don't know us we want people to get to know us and even if you do know us maybe get to know us a little bit better here's something i bet you know if you've seen a video on facebook of a mom <laughs> with a very tall son dancing at a high school talent show doing the hip hop evolution dance. That is my mom. <laughs> I figured I, I'd mention it because it has like 70 million views on Facebook now or something. Yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, that's my mom. That's my older brother. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know. All right, well, we are going to relax for the evening. Who knows what we're going to get into, but we'll take you along or whatever it is. Thank you for listening to this rant. So now we're on our way to Jersey Mike Subs to get some subs. We got a gift card. It's the last of my gift card that my dad gave me before we left. So let's make the most of it. Yep. Here. Hey, there's a White Castle here. What's that? You've never heard of White Castle Burgers? No. Oh well, yeah, I have. I didn't know that was a restaurant though. I thought that was just like... No, yeah, it's a restaurant. It's like only on the west coast though. All right, so we going to White Castle? We are going to White Castle. Man, look at that line. Can I squeeze? No, you can't squeeze. You don't think I can squeeze? No. I bet I can squeeze. No, you can't. Babe. <laughs> you crazy. I know this car way too well, bro. This ain't no car. It's a house. Right here. Was that impressive? Yes, baby, very <laughs> impressive. Like impossible slider. Oof. I don't like impossible, I like beyond much better. Okay. <laughs> a bacon cheese slider, the double cheese slider, crispy chicken slider, medium mozzarella stick, and a small fry, then whatever you want. Crispy chicken slider. I'll try the impossible. Thank you so much. Vanilla Coke. Vanilla Coke. Here. Let's see what this looks like. The mozzarella stick. Oh, fry. yikes. I decided to try the impossible. Mm. The chicken. Another chicken. The chicken. There's your nastiness. Your other nastiness. Wow, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Delicious? It's decent. <laughs> You're supposed good. to lie to the camera and say it was amazing. Oh, oh it was pretty good. <laughs> That's still <laughs> not it. It wasn't the best we've ever had, but uh, try new things when you're in new places. Yes, ma'am. I'll pull this back up for you. Thank you. I'm saving it in my pocket for us to share. Let's eat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> about what it looks like every night for us we when I we first moved in I was like we are not watching TV at all and, or definitely not every day I mean like only on special occasions and now it's basically every night but it barely pulls any power because it just this is a van life hack if people don't know it honestly because if you have a Nintendo switch for whatever reason it pulls like zero power to put it in perspective it pulls uh, anywhere from 8 to 15 watts, and the new Xbox pulls 320, and the new PS5 pulls almost 400. It's ridiculous. It's a van life ha hack, for those of you that don't know. What I was saying was that we watch TV a lot, and we have a lot of screen time, but that's only when we get back in the van at night, and it's dark, and like we park somewhere. I mean, what else are you going to do? We do read a book do? sometimes. We play cards sometimes, but most of the time. This is what we're doing. Let's be real. I am just gonna make a little snack for us while we play Yahtzee. But if the, if no one, 
If what? But I heard that this mac and cheese is the best, and so I got some. And Mark and I tried the white cheddar one the other night, and it was, whoa. It's really high. Um, we tried the white cheddar one, and we really, really liked it. So I haven't tried this one yet, but I'll let you know how it is. I'm sure y'all have already had it. I think I'm late to the train on this one, but it's definitely the best instant mac and cheese of all time. Sixes, come on, sixes, come on, sixes. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No way. Turn oh it off. God, no I cannot way. believe that. I just Why does it? That. You get everything you want. That is not true. You were beating me all night last night. Get off of me. Do you not want to play now? No. Because I rolled a Yahtzee. No. Get off me. How do you just roll a Yahtzee like that? And a sixes. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, I can't even win no matter what I do now. Okay, all right. I feel bad. We can... No, I'm not going to give up. Let's keep playing. Well, looks like this is the end of the night. Lexi is passing out. It's 11 o'clock, so... I guess it's kind of late. <laughs> it's not that late, but we're two hours behind too, so yeah, you know, still it's like 1 a.m. back in Charlotte, but I'm just gonna sit here and read my car magazine. This is a car dealership magazine, and someone converted an 18 wheeler. Look at this, it's pretty insane. I mean, that's pretty badass. Okay, that's enough. Okay, sorry, anyways, um, I'm gonna watch how and why Conor McGregor got knocked out, and I'll be right behind Lexi, so. Good night, you're supposed to say like, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching and stuff. If this is the end of the video. Like and subscribe, and thanks okay. for watching. Okay, like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you next time. Yeah. Ah! Oh! Put your thumb in here. No.